Okay, quick video on how to root um, Reaper into Mixbus using its reroot ASU driver. When you first install Mix, uh, Re uh, sorry, when you first install Reaper, um, you need to make sure that you enable the installation of the driver. I didn't the first time I installed it, so I had to go back and reinstall it. Um, so here's the option here. So when you get to your install screen, if you drop down, click on the drop down menu, um, and just make sure that this is ticked. Um, so in install your reboot as your driver. Uh, yep. Uh, okay. And um, once that's installed, um, open up a version of Reaper. I've just got a track on here. Okay. Now if you go to your in out settings um, and your reroute um, reroute option should appear as extra hardware channels. So I'm going to send this to reroute one and two and disable the master output. So I'll play back again. Okay. Now if you open up Mixbus, um, when you first open it up, you'll get your um, audio connection dialog. Make sure you're, still, you're using the standard port audio driver, but choose your input device as reroute ASIO um, and output as reroute ASIO. Um, and when you first choose this, you'll get an option that pops up for how many channels you want. I chose 60 channels because you know that, that's more than enough. Um, so once you've done that, if you create a new channel in um, Mixbus, create a stereo channel. I always use stereo channels just because it makes it easier for panning, etc. So once you've done that, if you go to your con audio connections, now um, you'll see that the sources obviously is my um, is the hardware. Uh, can appear these these appear as hardware inputs. So reboot client um, reaper one and two into audio one and two, yeah. and I'm going to reboot the master output of Mixbus. So let's master out Mixbus into reboot client one and two. So that's it. Um, so I'll go back to my main channel. Press play. Okay, now if I go back to Mixbus and make sure that the input monitoring is enabled, there we go. So that is our audio being rooted into Mixbus now. Now if we go back to Reaper, if I want to hear that back in Reaper, I just create two channels um, and then choose the input as reroute 1 and reroute 2. And It doesn't usually jump like that. I think it's a conflict between um, the, the projects being at 48 kilohertz and the, the, the this um, video recording being at 44.1. So um, if I go back into Mixbus now, if I just press play and not in Reaper and leave it running. See so if I go back into Mixbus. Uh, see I've got. That's it. So I just create the project using my um, whichever tracks I've got, send them through to Mixbus, sum it in Mixbus, and then bring it back in on a computer stereo channel to into Reaper. And then once I'm happy with the mix, I just re-record it back into Reaper, and um, you know everything stays in the same project. Um, I tend to create stereo tracks in Mixbus. It just means that if I want to do any panning, um, I don't have to zip back and forth. Um, you know, I just number I'm forward to, to mix bus all the time. So, for for example, just simplifies the whole thing. Um, but obviously, the EQ and the summing in mix bus is superb. Um, and hope that helps. Okay, cheers.